Hi guys, oh, welcome back to the channel. So, um, I wanted to record this one while it's raw and emotional. I will tell you, we are doing haymaking. The video I'm going to try and get out for Saturday, but stuff going on in the background, uh, which I'll take you through in a second. So, just look behind me here. So, the Renault's got the mower on the back end. Actually, I think that's got the bailer on it now. Uh, can't flip my camera around, it's on the phone. Yes, the Renault's got the bailer on the back end. And... The Ford's got the hay bob on the back end, so the class mower has been out and turned loads of hay, so I'll get that video out for you Saturday. But I wanted to talk to you about something that's raw and emotional, so um, I didn't come out with it in our last video, but just over a week ago we had one of our chickens, well, two weeks ago one of our chickens went down here, one of the white ones, and we couldn't put our finger on what it was. Um, and then a week later, I have one Ginge, the called a ranger. She went downhill really fast. I put her in a cage. I decided it was probably egg yolk peritonitis, which one of our other called rangers gets because of the way her bum was. And I gave her Metacam, the solution that was prescribed for the other chicken. So I gave her that. And I went out to her three hours later, like gone. I was like, wow, what the hell? So, you know, I was a bit like, that knocked out on me last week, and then, uh, oh. so this one, uh, the splash, um, we've been uh, ah, to the vets twice with, so the first time they saw, oh it could be a parasite inside her, uh, and they gave us some tablets, they said, you can't have antibiotics because she's not drinking and eating, I'm thinking, well she is eating and drinking, but she's not eating and drinking enough, she's lethargic and anemic or whatever. And so she had some tablets and some other stuff. Didn't work, went back a week later. And when she went back that time, we noticed she had loads of bugs on her and realised straight away it was red mite. However, red mite might have been knocking her down, but it wasn't what was causing her the pain. Um, so I couldn't tell you what it is, I'm not a vet. But then again, if the vets have got this wrong, which it looks like they have, because the red mite infestation, we've been working on it all week, which is why I've had troubles getting these haymaking videos out, even though they're all recorded. Um, we've been attacking this red mite infestation, blowtorch in, um, poultry shield, Jay's fluid. Um, I've even creosoted perches. I've creosoted any wood in there. Um, as you know, our setup is a, a bit of an outbuilding with minimal wood. So it's not like you can go, oh, you've got an old wooden chicken coop, because it's not. Um, Nest boxes, creosoted, replaced hay, you know, we even got to a point now where we haven't even got any hay in there apart from in the nest boxes and we change it every day without fail. Um, so, this splash has been in a crate for two weeks. The second time they gave us some stuff for mite, still no antibiotic. Um, and uh, this last night, five o'clock, I was with her till ten o'clock, just syringe feeding water and stuff, trying to keep her going. Strange feeding melon, watermelon, banana, um, even mashing up layers of pellets and stringing that, nothing. Um, like obviously she, she was having it, but she wasn't getting stronger. So last night was pretty crap. Um, got up at six, been out there with her till, well, 12-ish, you know, a good six hours out there with her. Stringing it, you know, opening up her beak, checking her airway, seeing she's got could see she started getting some mucus in there and I knew she was just she lost her responsiveness sort of by eight o'clock like her eyes and then by twelve o'clock it was just a case of um I knew that she didn't have much longer left. Um yeah, 